Hey guys, today we're gonna try out a script that makes it really simple to modify Reaper's theme colors. There are a lot of themes out there and a lot of them have a really cool design, but they might just be a little too dark, a little too bright for your personal preference, uh, your set of monitors, your room lighting, all that kind of stuff. All of those are a factor in how well you like a certain Reaper theme. What we're looking at today is a script called Adjust Theme Colors from user Amagama, and that's in the Repack extension. It's installed by default when you have that extension installed. It really makes things easy for adjusting, especially brightness and contrast of the Reaper theme. And it even gives you options for A-B comparing. So I've got the Reaper 6 default theme loaded here right now. Got a little project here and I have this adjust theme colors script open. If you have Repack installed, you can find this in the action list. If you search something like theme colors, you'll find omagama adjust theme colors Lua. And in here we have sliders for brightness, contrast, and gamma, snapshots, AB comparing to the original, undo and redo. And then on the color groups tab, we have different areas of the Reaper theme that we can adjust with those sliders. So I'll just uh, keep it on the default. These are the default um, uh, kind of options here. So let's just make this a little bit brighter. And so you can see that quite a large area of the Reaper theme is being adjusted here. I'll just do undo here and bring that back to normal. And let's just focus on the arrange view. So I wanna change this dark gray background. Let's increase the brightness like this. Maybe see what increasing the contrast does here. That's too far, not far enough. Let's do something like that. And let's just adjust the, the gamma. So all of these kind of control brightness, but slightly different ways. I'm not an expert on that sort of thing. It's possible to make very large changes to the Reaper theme uh, pretty quickly with these sliders rather than having to go into the theme editor and, or the theme tweaker and uh, adjust things that way. So I think right there is where I'm gonna keep this one and I'll hit take snapshot. What's AB compared to the original? There's the original, pretty dark looking, and then uh, there's the modified. Uh, we could also do things like adjusting the timeline, marker, and region lanes. So let's increase the brightness on that a little bit. Maybe bring the contrast up as well. Actually, I'm starting to like that darker like that. Yeah. So again, let's compare that to the original. And as you can see, pretty quickly, you can start to make changes to the Reaper theme uh, without getting too deep into code or uh, even color pickers and things like that. Just changing the brightness and contrast can make a big difference in tweaking for your environment. So when you're happy with your settings, you can close this script window and will prompt you to save your theme. Save current color theme. Would you like to save the theme under a new name? We can hit yes. And in this window, we can uh, name it something like default six custom, which I did earlier today. I'll hit save and replace. If you prefer the Reaper default five theme, you can still use this script. I see a lot of people were complaining that this theme was too bright. So what I would do personally is probably just change the arrange view. I find that the arrange view is just very bright and I would um, probably increase the contrast and then decrease the brightness. To something like that, and I think that would be more comfortable to work with. So I did run into some issues um, with some other themes, but I reported that as a bug, and if you run into any issues with this script, uh, please use the link in the description of this video to go to the forum, and you can report their bu your bugs there. Yeah, please don't use the comment section of this video to report bugs 
or ask for help with this script uh, because it's being actively developed and the best place to discuss it is on the forum. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.